Hey everybody and welcome on my oh. uh, uh. Hey everybody and welcome to my uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm your host, Maddie Smith, and we are here in the studio. Just me today and my fellow producer, Caroline Metzi. Shout out, shout out. We added some art to the studio. Adeo, shout out. If you cannot see the studio, we've got a nice little motivational poster over here. It's Michael Phelps. It came smaller than we thought. We definitely thought it was going to cover the whole wall, but let me start over. Wait, I'm freaking out. Don't freak out. Beat the butt. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Madhouse. My name is Maddie Smith. I'm your host, and we're going to have a good episode. (laughs) A couple of announcements, a couple of announcements. I'm going to be in uh, Austin, Creek in the Cave. I'm coming to Indianapolis, Helium, Indianapolis. I am coming to Albany, Funny Bone. I am coming to... My notes, my notes, my notes. (laughs) I am coming to... Bridgeport, can I get... Syracuse. Wow, a lot of uh, tri-state area stuff. That's pretty cool and easy for me. Did just go to Vegas. I um, yeah, I had a good time at Wise Guys Comedy Club. Thanks to Erlen who came out to that. Oh, we had quite a good time. Okay, so the reason why I'm panicking is because we're doing a little experiment today. Scientific method. As you all know, if anyone went to American school, school. <laughs> if you went to school in America, what do we have? Science fairs. Where you do your little trifold, poster board, little poster board, and scientific method. Question: What else do we got? A little background research, a little hypothesis, a little procedure, a little experiment, and then your conclusions. Conclusion, right? And so our scientific method question today is: Is Maddie funnier when she's high? So for those who are wondering, I am not currently high. Believe it or not, my I'm white knuckling this microphone right now because this. It's very hard for me. It is very hard for me to not smoke a weed. And I really enjoy that. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. But I need to hold off because I'm not making any new memories. And I find that when I am on podcast, I I meander and I go off the beaten path way too many times. And so for the experiment that we are doing today, it is half the podcast. This is the method that we are using. Scientific question, is Maddie funny when she's high? I go back and forth all the time about the weed because I do smoke before I go on stage. And everyone asks me, do you smoke before you go on stage? And I say, not really, but I think like if I need to, I do. Looking back over the past year, I've been high 99 out of 100 times. <laughs> <laughs> I am, how do I say it? Always a, pretty high. And unfortunately, I'm really functional when I'm high. I'm not, I mean, not. I mean, obviously, if anyone put a tape over and had security footage of me living my life, like I'm not functional. I was in Vegas. I was on the phone with my dad on a rental car. I was driving high. I was driving high. Is that a crime? I can't tell if it's a crime. Wee woo, wee woo. It's a crime, especially when I drive at night and I'm a little, the problem is I smoke and then I'm like, oh fuck, I have to drive. I don't know if I'm, if I'm. You're incriminating yourself. I think I'm incriminating myself. I think I'm incriminating myself. I think I'm incriminating myself. I don't drive high, but I do high drive. I do hive dry. <laughs> and the other night I was driving and I, I really felt like I I was operating like um, like I was in Top Gun and I was operating like a, a fighter jet because I was like, like the air conditioner, I was like. <laughs> and then all, at the same time driving 20 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to do an experiment, see if I'm better at podcasting when I'm high or not high. Either way, if I come to the conclusion that I'm better at it not high, I'm still going to get pretty high because <laughs> it um, numbs a lot of things for me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> God, sorry. I just, <laughs> I wasn't always like this. You know, people think I'm a, people think I'm a big stoner. I wasn't always like this. I started smoking weed in college. Mm. Although I did just realize last week it's 2024 and I graduated in 2014. So I suppose, I guess, graduated 10 years ago. (laughs) But, you know, the math could be wrong. (gasps) So started in college, started really smoking junior and senior years, like spliffs, big spliffs, 
side of your head. I started going to class high. I yeah. edited the newspaper. I started editing high. Uh -oh. And I would, I would tell myself like, no, it makes it more like enriching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. And then I took a break. 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 Big break. Like years in my 20s. Years in my 20s. Did not smoke weed. I got it in my head that I was getting too paranoid. My anxiety in my 20s was through the roof. I was, oh, I was starting stand up. So weed plus stand up plus social media. Oh, too much to handle. Mm -hmm. COVID hits. Then all of a sudden, I'm saying, I'm a little bit bored. I don't think I like my boyfriend. <laughs> you ever get into a drug because you hate who you're living with? <laughs> I was about to do heroin. I'll tell you that much. I was like, I hate it. Oh. So then I started dabbling in, you know, those little five milligram, 10 milligram, 10 milligrams. And then it really, once I broke up with that guy and moved in by myself and then weed kind of legalized in New York and all these stores started popping up a little bit of everywhere. And then it's like hard to not. Because I pass more weed stores on my way to this office than I do literally Starbucks or convenience store or bodegas or the right days and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So there's so much weed. And it's, I mean, on one hand, yeah, like that first hit feels super awesome. Like that first hit, you're like... Mm, immediate smile. <laughs> but then I noticed later in the day, as the weed is still sitting me, mm -hmm. um, I do have spikes of like anxious thoughts that I don't think are productive for me. Mm. Thoughts like, everyone is talking about me! <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. And my therapist doesn't know that I smoke weed. Really? And I don't want to tell her because I know she's going to tell me to stop because yeah, yeah. I talk to her about how anxious I am. Right. And so I can't... And then she was like, what if you up your Lexapro? And I was like, I could just stop smoking weed. Like I'm complaining to her about a problem that I know yeah. can be fixed, which would be by, but it's the, <sighs> such a dilemma. Someone tune in if you deal with this dilemma, mm. the weed thing. Mm. It's the weed vape pens, I think, that make it so available. And you can just be like literally at a funeral and puff on a <laughs> weed vape pen. And they're so there. And I'll have like a stare off with my vape pen at like 2 p.m. every day. I'm like, no, stop. And he's like, what, you don't want this? And I'm like, no, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's a toxic, it really toxic relationship. So at the 30 minute mark, Caroline's gonna give me a buzz and then we're gonna we're gonna go fucking flame up, come back, and then we're gonna we're gonna conclude at the end of the episode. Our data is gonna be how much Caroline laughs. I laugh at everything, but I'm gonna try and zip my lips. Our data is first half number of laughs, and she's writing it down. Oh, she's yeah. she's taking a tally oh, yeah. of every time she laughs. So it's a very official. Mm. This study will be coming out in, in the Jama. Harvard Review next mm -hmm. month. Is Maddie Smith funnier when she's high? So please keep an eye out for that. Um, and as we go on, Caroline will be tallying the laughs mm -hmm. that she has mm -hmm. and she will be concluding, is Maddie funnier when she's high mm -hmm. at the end? So that's that. Let's proceed. I don't know if you guys deal with oh, <laughs> substances like that, but luckily, you know, like we were talking about with Kyle, never gotten involved in anything too kooky, but I just can't shake the weed. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's because I've been really trying to stop drinking. And so once you do that, you just pick up another substance. Mm -hmm. I really just need anything to make me disappear. Mm -hmm. And I would honestly black out every night if it wasn't for the hangovers. <laughs> well, we're going to do some uh, segments today and, uh, you know, get really into the, 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 the meat of the, 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 the meat, the meat of this podcast. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start a segment, it's called Metagories, just to get things moving. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready, and you guys know how this one goes. Caroline's gonna shout out a topic, and she's picking a letter. It's basically categories, but with my name in it. Okay. The letter is F. F for fucker. <laughs> F ready? for fucker. And you can play along at home, go ahead. The first one is offensive words. Fucker! <laughs> I can't say the other one. Oh, okay. Oh. Flaming, <laughs> flaming pervert. <laughs> Fire crotch. Um, fl f f fucking asshole. <laughs> Fearless fucking. That's all I got. World Other leaders obvious. slash politician. World leaders slash politician. Um, Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he not the uh, prime minister? No, I think Roche is the prime minister of Cuba. Isn't right. That? Um, 
No, I think he was. Oh, but, he was. And then okay. He the chocolate. His son, Che. <laughs> right, right. Che Roche. Che Roche. <laughs> Shay um, Roche. Who's a world leader? F F F F F F F. World leader or politician? F F F F F F. Henry Ford. Okay. Ford Henry. Okay. Ford Henry. I have one, but I'm not going to say. No, say it. Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand. Isn't that one? That's a double one. Ding 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 ding. Damn it. Should I go to the next one? Yes. Menu items. French fries. Fennel. <laughs> Fire roasted peppers. <laughs> Fried pickles. Okay. I don't know. Okay, that's good. What do you got? Um, what were you going to say? French onion soup. I get one. I love French onion soup. Fingerling potatoes. Oh my God. <laughs> Fish sticks. Fish sticks. <laughs> Fish soup. <laughs> Things on a beach. 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 Feathered birds. Oh. Feathers. Mm hmm. Flock of seagulls. Oh. Feet. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Insects. Firefly. Oh. Animals. Frog. Flamingo. Uh, things at a carnival. Fat people. <laughs> <laughs> um, fried dough. Mm -hmm. Fennel cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Flamethrowers. Mm. Ferris wheel. Oh! Ah, ha -ha. Um, television stars. One. Friend gesture. Oh, yeah. very good. Um, things that have wheels. Fire trucks. Oh. Weekend activity. Um, fucking. Okay. <laughs> or fishing? Yeah. Uh, not my weekend activity, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Frolicking, feeling out um, another person's life. Um, mm -hmm. Friend zoning a guy. Okay. Things you store items in. F fanny pack. Okay. Pro sports teams. Falcons. Atlanta Falcons. Wow. Yep. Athletes. <laughs> Muhammad Ali. No. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Right, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Oh, uh, Floyd! Boy, Floyd. Oh, I can't think of anyone else. Wait, yes, I can. Brett Favre. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Things you do every day. Um, fart. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. Look, I don't have an asshole. I'm not. I'm a woman. Um, fall, obviously, <gasps> in love with myself. Freak out. I do that every day. Freak out. Um, fake an orgasm. <laughs> Things found in New York. Um, Fashion Institute of Technology. Oh, <laughs> very good. Things you get in the mail. Um, free offers. Oh, <laughs> uh, historical figures. Frederick Douglass. Okay. Names used in songs. Oh, um, oh, Philomena, oh, Philomena. You don't know that song? <laughs> Fred? Okay. Fred? I don't know. Fernando? Can you hear the bells, Fernando? <laughs> what about, um, Father, hold my hand. <laughs> okay, do a new letter. We'll do a speed round. Okay. The new letter is R. And... What's a beer that starts with an R? Can I have a rolling rock? <laughs> oh, double. Double. <laughs> farm animals. We're on the farm and we're going to see some rodents. Oh. <laughs> and some rascals and some raccoons. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe even a ram. Mm. Things you make. I am currently making... Um, you make things you make things you make things you make 
Um, revenue. Oh. Celebrities. Um, Rhea Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Raven Simone, uh, okay. Ryan Gosling, Ryan Reynolds. That's two. Okay. Kinds of candy. Rolos. Mm. Reese's. Mm -hmm. Reese's pieces. Mm -hmm. Reese's cups. Reese's. Fast break. Reese's fast break. Mm. Uh, uh, do you have any ropes? Nerds. <laughs> Comma <ro> nerds. <laughs> Toys. Um, Roly poly yoli. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a toy. Robot, mm -hmm. Cat, robot, dog. Okay. Wireless things. R robots. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, wireless things. Raccoons. Like <laughs> ro roads. Mm, yeah, I guess. I mm. Stupid. Question. Household chores. Um. <sighs> fuck. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Ray raking websites. Um, RayWarrenFlanagan.com. <laughs> okay. Um, vacation spots. Reykjavik. Okay. Ray, um, hey, dude, did you hear that I'm going to Rome? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that I'm going to the, uh, Raleigh? <laughs> Acronyms? Um, R... R oh, R O T C restaurants. Red Robin. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Should we do another? Roadhouse, comma, Texas. Mm -hmm. No, let's do another segment. Okay. Then we're going to move on to another segment. So far, the uh, data is not in my favor <laughs> in terms of this uh, high versus not high thing. Should we just go smoke? You want me to? Weed every day. Is it already time? time? Oh my god, it's already been half an hour. That's, That's crazy. And the episode will be like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go smoke. Let's go smoke. I'm so bored. Okay. Oh, we're shoot, we're back! Yeah. We're back and we're better than ever! <laughs> ooh, 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 ah, ah. This is what I get high. Okay, so we went outside, we smoked a long joint. We went to a dispensary. Today, mm -hmm. I don't know, like, what's dispensary means, like, something else than what these little shops in New York are, right? Uh, I think a dispensary, I've, it's giving medical. <laughs> yeah. It's giving medicinal. And the store we went to was not medical. <laughs> it was, like, a jail cell. <laughs> it's, like, a block away from where our studio is. <laughs> and I actually went there to buy a nicotine vape once, and he was like, nah. And I was like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. like, only, only weed shit. Mm. Only weed stuffs, but it's like this big. And at first, I pulled on the door. It wouldn't open. He had to buzz me in. Yeah. He's like, "Sorry, I was." Uh, I didn't know what he was. I saying. was in the back. I was like, <laughs> "What's that?" He's like, "I'm cleaning." <laughs> All good. All good, buddy. We just want to buy some joint because we're doing an experiment to see if I'm funny or not. <laughs> He's like, then we bought two boxes of little tiny. This a box this big. Of little tiny spliffs, mm -hmm. no little tiny joints. This big, ten joints. Matches came in the box, so cute. Almost we got two of those, line. and then he gave us two long. So then we go to smoke, and we're like, "Well, we're gonna do the long ones." <laughs> <laughs> those are for like when you like are panicking at a restaurant. And you're like, "I'm gonna step outside." <laughs> we're doing the long. So yes, we stepped outside, and uh, we may or may not have gotten high. I'm already at the conclusion that. I'm funny, but that's why. See, I have to stop because then it's that's how people end up, you know, judging. No, I just mean like I'll spiral, oh. freaking out. <laughs> um, okay, so we had a <laughs> so we, <laughs> we bought some weed, we smoked outside, and now we are here. We are live in the studio. I am not wearing a bra. I am not wearing a bra. What happened? Oh my god, you can see my titties. <laughs> you. I um, went to the gym this morning and I packed all my clothes mm. so that I could leave from the gym to get here. And then lo and behold, I opened my backpack. There's no bra in there. Then we went to CVS. I thought maybe there's like a little, sometimes in the suburban CVSs that are sprawling. Yeah, stacked you know, and stuff. It'll have like a huge section with socks and hosiery. Yeah. And then occasionally there's like little bras like... I didn't know that. Yeah, I kind of like they're black. I'll show you. I, I have a few at home. Yeah. They're like black. I buy one every time I see one because I'm like, I always need. Um, I have, you guys, I travel so much that I have probably over 200 pairs of underwear. 
That's because you never want to be short. Yeah. So every time I go to buy it, I buy like 20 at once. Yeah. Because being short of underwear is a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't learn that till I was like 29. Yeah. Like, just yeah. buy more. I think we're in denial that like they're basically like diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, I don't need 50. <laughs> I know. I used to have seven <laughs> pairs of underwear, like one for each day. Remember when you were a kid and you would have underwear with Monday, Tuesday? Yep. Oh, cutest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden they got scrambled. Yeah. It says Wednesday. It's Sunday. I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, dude, I remember having like seven pairs of underwear at one point in my life. That was enough. That was enough. That was Nothing enough. Was happening. That was enough. And now I have 500. The problem is a lot of my underwear, uh, I will confess, I am not like, like, okay, so <laughs> I used to go to Equinox, which is uh, a gym in New York and everywhere, pretty much everywhere. And if you don't have one near you, well, <laughs> your city sucks. <gasps> no, I'm joking. But it's like a gym, like, uh, we're, we're a lifestyle. We're a lifestyle Equinox. Like, come in. We have eucalyptus towels in a refrigerator and we have classes and we have, we have locker rooms, like, and there's marble countertop and Kiehl's products in the shower. And we have 18,000 maids in the locker room. <laughs> like, just people walking around all the time. Yeah. So I joined when I worked in finance because there was one right next to my job. So I would go on my lunch break, which, oh my God. which you know, sometimes I was gone for like two hours because oh I would sometimes I would go take a spin class. <laughs> at Equinox in Rockefeller Center. And um, I would take a whole shower and blow dry my hair and come back with a salad in my hand. And I would just walk in like straight face, sit down and not even look up. I wouldn't even pretend like, oh, crazy line. I just yeah. went out and came back. And who knows if they were like, <laughs> Maddie leaves for a long time every day. No one said anything. Right. Although when I quit, they were like, we saw this coming. <laughs> So anyway, we talked about that last week. But what was I going to say? Equinox is this gym. And it's... Um, no one's going to laugh at this. Okay, but I think people will. <laughs> Doesn't affect me. That's what I'm saying. This is why we put this up. Because I got nervous. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people comment negative things. Yeah. Sometimes people comment. You can turn off every notification, every comment thing. Mm -hmm. It'll still reach you. Mm -hmm. It'll still reach you. Gmail will be like, hey, this person just <laughs> told you you're a fucking loser. <laughs> what? It's like an Amazon. It's like a breaking news alert. Maddie Smith is a fuck. <laughs> I'm like, I turned off the comments. We ran through a an array of ideas for, you know, the second wall here. Mm -hmm. You know, it was blank before, but now it now it's it is. now we got Michael oh. Phelps coming through with the butterfly, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's that two 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 arm stroke. Mm -hmm. You know, the butterfly is two arms at once <laughs> with your legs together. <laughs> Like, so hard. it's so hard. Yeah. And he smokes weed. Turn up. <laughs> Did we book him as the wall for that reason? No. But now that I'm looking at him, I'm like, dude, him and I are one in the same yeah, in that one. he's a very successful athlete and I'm kind of bleeding money. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so what I was going to say about underwear is in the Equinox locker room. Yes, I be taking peeks at what everyone else is wearing. Not in a perverted way, just taking in. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize until I went to Equinox and my Rite Aid underwear literally looks like FEMA government funded yeah. underwear. It looks like underwear that like people we sent like people during the Cold War. Yeah. It looks like underwear we sent to the country of Georgia. Right. It's big. Yeah. Baggy in some it's areas. Like, really yeah. tight in other areas. It's like cartoon underwear. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, baggy. And I don't care because I've I've never been an underwear person. Yeah, same. and I don't wear clothes really that reveal. I have a thong for occasions, as yeah. needed, per needed. Mm -hmm. That's me on thongs. I go to Equinox. All of a sudden, I go. Everybody wearing thongs. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wearing thongs. Yeah. Even for women. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I need to get thongs. No, I don't. I really don't think so. I went to the lingerie store, mm -hmm. but they have like like pajamas too mm -hmm. and stuff. And the lady's like, "I like it big. I like them big. Really? And I'm like, me too. But she, she was like, like, she likes her underwear big, and she's like maybe in her like forty, right? Or okay. Something. And I was like, I think the widespread thong movement has started with the millennial women. Mm. Like, I like ankle socks. I remember. <laughs> Ankle socks and fucking thongs. <laughs> Ankle socks, thongs, and leggings. Ew. Like they're just like yeah. <laughs> stinky. 
all like yeah all things that go like <laughs> and then you see them like you see someone do laundry in front of yeah. you and they have like all like their things just like are so small because small. it's like ankle small heads yes that get like yeah. scrunched up into like yeah. a ball yep. and like a little, thong little tiny like thong like I, I find them thong in my underwear like this yeah. big <laughs> you're like at a guy's house and you're looking for your, you're like where is my phone and you're like did you have a magnifying glass <laughs> Hey, ha! Gotcha. It's a gotcha. There's my thong. <laughs> Don't call. <laughs> I have maybe one thong, and the one thong I have is very functional. It's very. I think it. I bought it at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, like back of the store, back it's of like the store. That you just hike up. Uh, yeah, it's ass. like sometimes, like, and then sometimes if my underwear is like showing in my pants, like I'll pull my underwear up <laughs> into my. And I'll just be like, okay, good. Now the panty line's not showing. Have a good like. And then I go on stage and I'm like, <laughs> it's like bunched up. <laughs> yeah, it's bunched up in there. Um, I find that thongs are like I don't think it's good for your ass area. Mm, yeah, <laughs> gotta let that shit breathe <laughs> for that like sort of. It's like all up in there. Yeah. Like that, yeah, the ass needs to like breathe, doesn't it? <laughs> like with with a thong on, it's like. <laughs> it's gagged. <laughs> yeah, it's gagged up. It's ga like, it has gagged up like around, or it has masking tape over it, like the like, anti-abortion movement. Like, <laughs> like that's what I think of when I'm wearing a thong. I'm like, I'm so sorry. You know I have to do this. I think it. Um, a wedding I went to recently, I just wore no underwear. Yeah. And I do that for functional purposes so that my fucking subcutaneous fat doesn't show in the <laughs> photos and then I hate myself for a year. Is that what it is, the subcutaneous? There's a difference between men and women's fat and we were talking about this with Dina recently. Women have a more squishy fat because it's just kind of on top and it's a, it's a, it's a layer. Mm. And it's a little bit more natural for them. Mm. Whereas men have a harder fat. Visceral fat? Visceral is, that what it's is what they call it because it goes between their organs oh. and it hard and like layers it like a sedimentary rock. Yeah. Women's, ours is more playful. Ours is like, oh, I've had so a couple weird. too many Danishes this week. <laughs> mine are, it's like squishy. Mine are squishy. Yeah, and I, yeah. I actually feel more about mine, like, you know, despite body dysmorphia, I'll be like, Sometimes I'm like, oh, it's like so squishy. Yeah, it's soft. In like a good way. Yeah, you're like, oh, I'm a little lady. I'm a little lady. I'm a little lady. Sometimes I'll have a beer. And other times I'll have an ice cream sundae and I'll go well with my life. But then you touch a man's fat and you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, Hello? Yeah. Can I come in? Yeah. Is that the difference? Visceral and subcutaneous? Um, Yeah, I believe so. Because I did get a... um. Uh, what's it called? Like the body score index, whatever scale. Yeah. But it gave me an ink disorder. So <laughs> I, know, I had to get, access I had, denied. I had to get rid of it because it was logged in with my phone mm. and my phone every morning would be like time to weigh in and I'd be waking up from a hangover. I'm like, oh. suck my fucking dick. <laughs> but if I was like into that shit enough, I would be stepping on it every day. And it gave me reports. If I stepped on it barefoot, it would give me reports of like body fat. Wow. Percentage, um, base calorie burning or whatever. It would give me sub fat percentage mm -hmm. and other stuff all on this app. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Let me pull it up. I haven't pulled it up in forever because I also just went on a fucking banshee run after my mom got married and <laughs> probably gained like some permanent weight, but that's okay. All right, here's my weight. I'm not saying my weight out loud. Trigger warning though, I'm doing um, weight stuff. <laughs> oh my God, the last time I weighed myself was in August, August of last year. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. It really fell off. I weigh myself no, every day. I stop, but maybe I'll get back on it. But it, 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 yeah, like, it's too much. So it shows you body water, base, like calorie burn, skeletal, skeletal muscles, heart rate, body fat, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, Muscle mass, bone mass, protein. So my visceral fat is excellent. Suck my dick, bitch. But now let's go to subcutaneous fat. Squishy. Oh shit, excellent. But that was really? in August. All right, I'll come back next week with the results and you guys can fucking see what happened. See what happened when I went on a bender. I went on a little bit of a bender. Oh, but it was quite fun. 
So what else do we have going on in the madhouse? We're going to do a couple segments, I think. Is that correct? Yeah. What else do we have on our list? I wanted to tell you guys something. I watched a movie yesterday. Mm-hmm. It was called Casino. Featuring Robert De Niro, mm. Joe Pesci, Sharon Stone. Mm. I don't know if I can rap about it because I'm feeling really stupid right now, but go. Hey. 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 We in Vegas. It's in the row and Pesci. Hey. We run the house. House always wins. We keep them round. Keep the money flowing. Shoot the motherfuckers down. Take the enemy, kick the out of town. We quite the team till Nikki acts up. He breaks a word and he gives a bad name, ruins his reputation. He's driven out of town. De Niro's wife, she's a clown. She's addicted to coke and in love with her pimp ex boyfriend. De Niro doesn't understand it. She runs away with their kid. Doing lines, doing bumps, she don't give a beat. <laughs> she wants to go back to De Niro and he says, What did you spend $25,000 on? Suits? That's a lot of suits. <laughs> Is that what he says? Yeah. Yeah. So then what? You bought a coat. That's a couple thousand, maybe. Get the suits tailored. How many suits are gonna get tailored? That's 10K. What'd you do with the rest of the money? Pay attention. She doing coke. And now he knows. She goes off. And it all blows. They arrest her. She acting up. There are warrant out for her and the cops are up. Everyone gets busted for all the crimes. Taking money out the casino to the nines of Kansas City for the mob. Back of an Italian produce shop, they meet up. Eating meatballs and pasta, Hey, The guy with the suitcase comes in and says, hey. <laughs> the money lessens, now they're getting mad. When De Niro goes down in the casino, they're glad. They shoot everyone involved with the case. Men go down, face after face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if any of that made sense. You can tell me after this, but I'll say it almost ends with a death. But there's a bomb. Oh, in the car. Did any of that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like uh, Sharon Stone. Was... It was like a. It was like a classic, like movie yeah, like yeah. Uh, like hustlers Tensions. you know Tensions like rising it's like yeah it's like I lo- that's like classic movie right or it's like classic, classic narrative movie. structure Ew, I hate myself, I hate, uh. myself. <laughs> I hate myself I'm losing my mind Michael is telling me go for it <laughs> just be a podcaster <laughs> blowjob face <laughs> I bet his cock is huge Michael Phelps yeah yeah big guy yeah you ever see his like when he was in the Olympics, he's like, I eat 10,000 calories a day. Yes. I was like, I know. I start with like a fucking yes. Yes. table full of pancakes. That's like the one reason I wish I was like, I would love to be like a male who's fit and you can just eat and you need to eat. You need to eat. I need to stop eating. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like <laughs> men who are like, like they're just like, oh, fuck. I'm like, I'm bulking. So like I have to eat an extra thousand calories. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, when wow. When that too, I'm like, wow. Oh. Uh, hey, buddy, read the room. <laughs> okay. I have a binge eating problem. <laughs> um, We were going to do a, a segment that was called Run Bit By Me. <laughs> but now I'm, now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, is this going to be funny? We'll see. Well, we'll see. If it's not, we can do something else. Yeah, we can do some. We'll just keep the cameras running until something funny happens, then we'll cut it all up. <laughs> That's usually what we do. Yep. No, this is all unedited. This is all like we're live streaming right now yep. in Japan. Did they get back on the Hello Kitty deal? <gasps> um, not yet, but okay. I can um punch it up in the thread. Yeah, definitely get back to them and CC me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. CC me and uh, and then also BCC. Okay. So I can be BCC. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing it. Now, um, and the deal with Hello Kitty, um, and we weren't supposed to announce it yet, but they're <laughs> um, quietly unrolling a new product that is called High Pussy, and <laughs> it's a like I think we're one of 
10 podcasts who are launching this product only in the States, which is pretty cool of Hello Kitty to like choose us, like go America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so cool. So Hi Pussy is a new product that is not as much of a character as Hello Kitty is. It's um, more kind of like um, a movement <laughs> and, and, and people like meet up and they're like, Hi Pussy, you know what I mean? Do you have any more information on the product? Because I know we were supposed to do an ad read yeah, um, well, next week, but they also said we can talk about it whenever we want, I think. Yeah. Um, they said just be discreet. Um, but it is a, I think, it's going to be lifestyle and then it's going to be evolving into a skincare beauty product. Oh, that good. trajectory. Right. But it's going to start as like a whole, right. you know, lifestyle whole. brand. So high right. pussy right. is like, right. you know, what's in the house. If you're right. a high pussy um, <laughs> person, right. um, it's whatever you want it to be. It's really whatever you want it to be. I guess you could call it a blend of health, wellness, feminism, all in one combined to make this um, new science. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a segment. I'm rambling. No. People are going to say not funny one high. <laughs> not funny one high. I disagree. Not funny one high. Mm. Where's my vape? You want to know what the best thing I ate this week? What? I was in Vegas this weekend, but I wasn't on the strip. I had a unique Vegas experience. I was in, I was in the uh, part of Vegas where the locals ran. Is that Wise Guys in Town Square? That's what they called it. Nice club, brand new. Opened in maybe September. Shout out to them. We had a great. The stage was wide. The stage was like. The stage was so wide. It was like a school auditorium. It was like so wide. I was like marching across like I was Sebastian Maniscalco. I was like pausing and on laughs. I was. I would be like, so you know me, a slut. <laughs> laughter laughter I'm like uh, I was pretending there was a camera like on my face like and that's and people will so I come home to my wife who you all know <laughs> the person in the way back is like I have no idea what's going on <laughs> yeah I'm just like <laughs> that's why theater shows are so weird because if you go up to the or arena shows if you go up to the balcony of a arena it doesn't have to be stand up just any sort of show <laughs> um like Broadway shows like mm -hmm. from up there <laughs> <laughs> and they're like moving <laughs> yeah and then you see the, what they actually look like you look them up and you're like whoa <laughs> that is not who I was picturing <laughs> I was picturing to you, you to be a beautiful little aunt <laughs> <laughs> I watch like people when I like open for Theo Vaughn I watch him from all the way tip top of the theater he's like this <laughs> he's walking across the stage he's like a falcon dad <laughs> people around me are like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like there's Theo <laughs> No, I saw him. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we saw Theo last night. So cool. No, we saw him. Yeah, we saw him for sure. He was there. He was down there. He's, he's sitting on a stool. He's this big. <laughs> Gotta bring binoculars. Binoculars. Anyway, I don't know why we got on this topic. I'll forget. Oh, what did, what did you eat? <gasps> you this right! Week? Because we were... Yeah. Ew, I'm so annoying. No, That's what people... This is what... It's fine. The tangents are fine. I've been pretty hard on myself lately. In incredibly existential ways. Like... I'll wake up and take a shower mm -hmm. and I'm like, so where's this all going? <laughs> so we're saying if you're 32 now, next year, you're like, yeah, you mean it. Really? So what if you don't go back? Like existential. What Do normal people have that? I think normal people are like, oh. Every once in a while. Waking up, waking. I think, nor I think like people who I talk to who seem to be like less, uh, less constantly anxious, more present moment mm -hmm. when they shower, I think they're like, hmm. Feels good. Oh. <laughs> Show up. Let's make it hotter. Oh, which soap should I use? <laughs> Whereas I'm like, if I run out of money, mm -hmm. then I suppose I could move upstate. <laughs> yeah. And there's always time to go back to school, right? <laughs> Is that normal? I think it depends. I think I just feel thoughts. like I have constant thoughts like like constant, mm -hmm. just constant, like, yeah. where am I, where, where's this all going? What are you doing? You should have done this. We could have done this. Ruminating. You could have do, you could have do this. They're all doing this. Everyone thinks you're this. So like constantly. I think if you do it's that. Never, it's never, never not been like that though. Yeah, same. So do other people have that or do other people just have willowing in the wind kind of really, really more, yeah. I think some. Yeah. Yeah. And this is also, I'm also, I'm like, you know, high, but this is also just daytime. Like yeah. this is also just like when I wake up mm -hmm. and it hit me in the head. Mm -hmm. 
in, in, in general. Yeah. In general. Airport, walking through the airport. Yeah. I'm like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Airports what are, we doing? are yeah. a place to really yep. observe and. Can you guys write in and tell me if this is normal, this feeling of. Dread. <laughs> or just constant running thoughts are, and their thoughts that are, you know, and in uh, you know, movies about a kid and who's playing sports in high school and his dad's really hard on him. Mm-hmm. Like, name every movie. High School Musical. Obviously, High School Musical. Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights. Uh, uh, a uh, fucking Iron Claw. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I feel like I have 20 of those dads in my <laughs> head. That's what I was going to say. I have 20 of those dads in my head at all time. Like, look at these other guys crushing it out there. And then he's like, why don't you stand up more? <laughs> you need to drink more water. <laughs> That's why I'm like always just laying down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you, can just one of you talk? <laughs> oh, my life is so hard. <laughs> we were going to do a segment. I don't know if anyone's going to like it. And it's called um, Run Bit By You. <laughs> okay. Are people going to laugh? Wait, what is your review of the scientific method? I think it's, it's hard to say because we should have had multiple like controls. Like I feel like, we also got warmed up. So by the time we came back, yes, you True. were maybe under the influence, but you were also warmed know, up. We need to be more sciencey about this. So let's get a scientist on <laughs> who can uh, who can uh, give us like a full experiment. Yeah, because I'm a little stupid. I remember I did like this. Remember the scientific method? Maybe second grade did when you, we first learned it. What did you do an experiment on? I did. Um, how do different breads mold? Oh, <laughs> that's good. So I left out like white bread. Wheat bread, rye, maybe like medallion. <laughs> and uh, the white got fucking moldy as hell. Really? The wheat got moldy later, but then got more spore city. Ew. Then I think the Italian just got stale, but this is just stuff you know after being an adult. Most of the questions you ask as a child at a science fair, the adults are going to be like, <laughs> they're like, figure it out. We already sign- know, yeah. but you have to ask the question. Yeah. My questions would be like, do my parents like me? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Like research and background. Um, sometimes they like act like they don't want me around. <laughs> okay. Uh, hypothesis. They do not like me. <laughs> okay. So the experiment, the procedure, the experiment would be, um, I guess, surveying mm-hmm. the sample. Mm-hmm. Sample being my mom and dad. Mm-hmm. So sending them like an anonymous survey. Like, do you like Madeline? That's right. That's direct. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, there's only one checkbox and it's no. <laughs> and you're, you're a forced to answer and it's on the internet and you, you, <laughs> you, um, you can't finish unless you fill in the thing. Yeah. So they're going to, so the conclusion is that they don't like me. Right. Anyway, Thorough. I could collect more data. I could give you years of memories. Mm. I'm joking. Of course. <laughs> I used to be like to all the stuff they taught us. I used to be like, what's with all these stats? Mm-hmm. Oh, remember when we taught essays in like fourth grade? Oh my God. Intra introduction paragraph, mm-hmm. three paragraphs of body, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck that meant. Yeah. And then conclusion. Mm-hmm. And when I went to elementary school, they had like a rubric mm-hmm. and you would get a five, four, yeah. three, two. Yeah. I got like a five on my first one. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm a genius. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Next one I got a four. I was like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I got so mad at my teachers all the time. Mm. Okay. Um, all right. So we got a segment. It's called Run Bit By You. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to run ideas for stand-up bits that I have by Caroline. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe I'll do it in my stand-up voice. Okay, mm-hmm. ready? Okay. Hey, hey. Uh, hey, what's up? Are you dating? Are you uh, Are you here alone? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. What brings you here? Um, I am trying to run away from mm-hmm. my... Uh, parents mm-hmm. and so I went here because oh my god <laughs> wow that's so real mm-hmm. and your parents are actively looking for you mm, no oh, okay great mm-hmm. so problem solved mm-hmm. you never want to talk to them <laughs> <laughs> You know, I hate doing crowd work. I think like, <laughs> I don't know what happened to me, you guys, but when I started comedy, I was like talking to the crowd and like, but I also can't remember because I also feel like I was just pointing at people, but they weren't talking as mm. much. I remember being like, you would get good, but they never talked back. Right. So then I think people thought I was doing crowd work, but then this new kind of crowd work of this clips like on Instagram came out and it's like part two, part three. Uh, talking to a, a, a full bachelor party, part one, part two, part three, oh like full on conversations. Oh my God. And that was never my thing. Cause I always hosted 
shows early on. And so my hosting was crowd work, which was like, you're from Sweden? Oh, 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 oh moving on. Eh? Yeah. And you're a couple, like, you've, been, you've seen like a showcase show at a club yeah, in yeah. New York. It's like, ho- like crowd work for hosting. moving. It would be like, you're dating? You're not? Oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah. We don't know. Ah! Yeah. I'll let you guys be. I'll let you guys be. Well, what's going on over yeah. here? You're you're not dating either. What? <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> like full room crowd work. Yeah. And so I try to, but I panic. I panic, really. I'm like, every show that I do on the road, and I do a lot of material, so I don't care. Mm-hmm. But my my the crowd work, I really panic a lot of the time yeah. because I'm like, where is this going? Yeah, people Literally, just talk. Where is this going? Yeah. A girl was in at the Vegas show and she was wearing like a big jersey. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was a big uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin jersey oh, nice. with fishnet tights. Oh my God. And like combat boots. Nice. She's like, I'm a lesbian. I'm here with my mom. Woo. <laughs> what do you say to that? I couldn't think of anything funny to say. <laughs> and I was just like, Oh, wow. Good for you. (laughs) And part of me is like, did I lose my old edge? Mm. But then the other part of me is like, maybe it's just you shed like that element, Mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. But your whole act gets stronger because you're you kind of. Yeah, I kind of don't know what I'm supposed to say to them to get a funny thing out. Right. Because I don't care about them. Not in a bad way. I love my audiences, but in the moment, yeah. I'm just focused on doing an hour of comedy right. to, and keeping everyone engaged. So if you tell me you're a lesbian, you're with your mom, you're wearing a Stone Cold Steve Austin sh- jersey, I'm just like, awesome. Mm-hmm. I got to keep... <laughs> yeah, I got to go. Nice to meet I get, you. I go full panic mode. <laughs> yeah. It's not how it used to be. So that's my take. Mm. But then people will be like, I'll hear them after the show and they're like, I wish you'd talk to me more. Oh, but then I on. sometimes do talk to people and they won't say anything because they look at me like this from the front <laughs> row and they're like, I'll be like, well, what? And she's like, <sighs> and I'm like, are you nervous? She's like, yeah, I can't believe I'm seeing you. Oh so God. then I'm like, well, I'm not going to talk to you because you're so nervous. Yeah. Then the whole row is just like nervous. <laughs> but then I get off. They're like, I wish she talked to me. I'm like, I tried, <laughs> but you were mute. Yeah. Not your fault. Anywho, that's my stance. Yeah. So then I put out crowd work and it sucks ass just because I'm like, you know what I mean? I got to put clips out, yeah. but it's just me being like, you're gay. <laughs> like every clip ends. <laughs> People are mean to me on Facebook. That's my really? current ailment. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it boomer? I think it's because Facebook like pushes reels out heavily. Uh, and sorry if this is insider talk, but some of you might be a Facebook. So I think like some of my like pointless reels on there got like 600,000 likes Whoa. like and but then that comes with like random dudes with like sports sunglasses on <laughs> and like they're like, this truck. <laughs> they're like and they're like they're like she's disgusting and unfunny and you're uh. like okay great now thanks Facebook you 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 blasted this out so much yeah. that I'm getting so blowing it out, blowing out my <laughs> like fucking psyche. I actually told my manager recently, I uh, kind of don't want to be on the apps anymore. Can someone take over? I don't mm-hmm. know if that's a good or a bad idea. No, it's definitely good. Yeah. It probably free up so much time. Yeah. I feel like this is, all, I feel like I'm a, like, I'm all like an, I'm not like an influencer. Mm. I just want people to watch my podcast and come to my shows. Yeah. I don't want to be seeing what everyone is saying. Yeah. The only app I like right now is Poshmark. Poshmark. I spent a lot of time on Poshmark. Poshmark. (laughs) I've been spending a lot of time doing my New York Times crosswords every morning, but now they're getting too easy. Oh, okay. So this is a segment. This is a segment. It's called Run Bit By Me. Mm -hmm. Run Bit By Me. Run Bit By Me. Remember that comment on the first episode that was like, for the love of God, (laughs) please get a guest. (laughs) Hey, uh, what do you think you are, Bill Burr? Uh, yeah. I'm like, brother. Uh, oh, and then and then he said he was like our biggest fan too. Yeah, Ang- anger outburst. Everyone's so confusing. <laughs> okay, so this segment, I'm run. I'm I'm gonna do a bit for Caroline, mm-hmm. and then we'll see if it's a funny premise or not. We'll call it like a pitch meeting, a writer's workshop. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. I'm doing pretty well for myself. I'm 32 years old, and I would say, you know, I run. A, I would say I run a company mm-hmm. that is, um, you know. Uh, kind of plateauing financially. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but <laughs> I'm saying that too much. Um, okay, and doing great, but I don't really like everyone in my life and family is also doing great mm-hmm. with me. So it's kind of just like, oh, Maddie's, you know, oh, Maddie's, mm-hmm. Maddie uh, sold out a bunch of shows in Seattle. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, I wish 
<laughs> sometimes that I fucked around in my 20s mm-hmm. and was like, did I, I might have told you this. Fuck, I think I told you this. No, I don't, if you I, did, then act surprised. I, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you did. I have no memory either. <laughs> yeah, so. dude. It's over for me. My brain looks like the bean. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> From all the weed. <laughs> Smooth. And people are next to it like, criminal. Okay, this is my new bit. Okay. Run bit by you. Okay. Run, <laughs> by me. Run bit by me. It's a very loose uh, premise, but sometimes I wish that I fucked up in my 20s and like mm-hmm. drunk drove, you know. Okay. I know a girl, my age, exactly my age. She fucked up all through her 20s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so all you can but now about. anything she does, people are like, oh. good for her. <laughs> She is just thri- thriving. <laughs> and she literally like works. She has like a part time job at a gas station. Right. And people are like, but she's stable. Yeah. The bar is yeah. low. Yeah. She's learning to read. <laughs> <laughs> but no one's accolading me. Right. Right. That's how toxic I am. I'm jealous of like former drug addicts. Right. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. whoa. Like well, where's my left? congrats for never even getting addicted? <laughs> I guess I could use that in a bit how, you know, the government's like, we'll pay off student debt. Mm-hmm. Then other people are like, well, what about me? I canceled, I paid off my debt. Mm. Are you going to pay me back? That would be like, if to an addict, I was like, well, what about me? Why do you get, why do you get special? Yeah. Why does everyone think you're so good? Uh, yeah. I never got addicted to drugs. Right. Cause it is insane to, yeah. it is an insane stand, point, point of view yeah. to be jealous of someone who had a terrible right. 20s. Right. But I mean, some of it it's probably was fun. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You get to do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no, you can blame the drugs. I and- mean, she drove her car into so- someone's house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe uh, the is bar. That, is that a bit? Is that a bit? Thumbs up or thumbs down? That's how it goes. I mean, I do love stories about people. Not like if no one gets hurt, that's great. But just right. the thought of someone plowing into someone's living I know. Room I like. It's just yeah. so out of control. That like, is funny. How does that happen? Right. Like Billy Joel, didn't he like plow into someone's living room? That's like the funniest thing I've yes. ever heard. And maybe it's that's like, why he stopped writing songs. <laughs> yeah, I've never driven into someone's house, but I've really never driven drunk. Mm, same. Really never driven drunk. Yeah. Maybe like, and I know I'm really like incriminating myself again, but maybe like tips Yeah. through like a back road. Right. But I don't, but we're lucky because we live in New York City. Right. Now upstate New York. <laughs> different western new york Mm -hmm. you guys Mm -hmm. and some people in my family Mm -hmm. are they'll go to the bars Mm -hmm. and they'll drive the fuck home Mm -hmm. maybe that's why i scraped by in my 20s Mm because we weren't driving we were just fucking around and getting ubers and trains home yeah i passed out on a train and -hmm. woke up in sheepshead bay (laughs) at the bottom of brooklyn but i wasn't driving a car nice so that's the one perk of being a blackout in your 20s and living in New York City. Yeah, good job. We never drove. I feel like my- Because you know. Yeah. We'd, we'd ride it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a confession. Here's a confession. Similar to my health insurance story of my car. Um, <laughs> one time I, uh, when I still had a car in Manhattan or in Brooklyn and Manhattan, uh, Tan Corolla, turn up. Tan Corolla team. <laughs> Tan Corolla squad, stand up. I ran out of gas in Manhattan. <laughs> Um, on, on literally like first Avenue and sixth street. And the cop was like, you can't just stop here. I was like in the right lane, right next to like the side, right? Like the sidewalk. There was a spot, but then my car stopped right next to it. The cop comes up and was like, you can't just pack it. You can't just sit here. I was like, brother, I run out of gas. He's like, you can't just sit here. <laughs> All right. I was like, yeah, I know I'm dumb as fuck. It was like my uh, Hannah from Girls moment. I was like, I can't believe I ran out of gas. Oh, no. After that moment, I was like, yeah, you <laughs> cannot be running out of gas. Yeah, but there's like two gas stations. I know in there's the no city. gas stations. And, and with city driving, you just keep driving. Like once your tank is full, your mindset is, I'm never going to have to fill up my gas again. <laughs> <laughs> so at, even when it's on the quarter of a tank, you're like, Full tank, mm-hmm. full tank. Mm-hmm. And then your car starts slowing down <laughs> and you're like, you look at the gas tank and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> well, I thought we were on full. <laughs> Had to get AAA come and they bumped me up. <laughs> but really there is not a lot of gas in those red um, containers. Yeah. Those red containers of gas. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to follow you to the gas station just in case you don't make it. Oh my God. Because the only gas station in Manhattan is like, uh, 30, like edge on the east side. So 
Okay, maybe I should do more bits about my cars. Mm. So you didn't like my bit? Um, no, I was just, I did like it. I'm just thinking of, I'm trying to think of other examples right. that you can. Like, I had a bit about my base. Um, I was on stage in Las Vegas. I said I could never be a teacher because I would hit the kids because they're not mine. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck. Dylan, you're annoying. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I said I could never have a kid of my own because I would leave the kid in the hot car. <laughs> And I know this because I leave everything everywhere all at once. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't even remember. That's how like I, how much I don't retain like new things. Like I would forget, I think about the kid for a year. Mm. You know, like you new purse and you're like, oh, I keep forgetting. I want to use that purse. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not till you're like out. They're like, oh, why did I wear this <laughs> And that's how I'd be with a baby. I would yeah. be out and I'd be like, oh, fuck the baby. <laughs> I would be home. Or I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, of course I can go out tonight. And I look at the baby and be like, hmm. <laughs> what do we do with you? Well, that's like, uh, what's her name? Casey Anthony. Not to, that's dark though. That's oh my your, God. But she basically wanted a party. Right. And would Mine she- wouldn't be malicious. Mine wouldn't be like, I hate you. Mine would be like, I forgot. Like, you know how like, uh, my brain is so like ADD and moving so fast that I'll be like, oh, I'm going to like try to not eat meat for a while. Mm-hmm. I'll say that on a Monday. And then by Wednesday, I'm eating like meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I never eat meatloaf. I'm like, I'm craving meatloaf. And then as I'm eating the meatloaf, I'm like, oh, I forgot I was supposed to be meatless. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't retain. <laughs> so I really feel I'd be like, the baby. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But yeah. I do think I have early, some sort of early onset <laughs> memento. So, some things are not sticking. I think maybe it's because I'm I'm moving a lot. Like I'm moving around a lot. Yeah. I travel a lot. So it's like, there's a lot of different imagery if that my you, brain is consuming yeah. and people. And so because of that, as the years go by, things stick less. Mm. Like I'll fall asleep thinking about recent. And I'm like, wow, that feels like I forgot even that happened. Yeah. I think I'm a little bit foggy too. Yeah. And I think I'm a little disassociative a lot yeah. when I'm out there on the road. Yeah. I kind of like, I'm in a new region. I'm uh, I'm, uh, alone on a, a lot of the time. Even if I have a friend, I'm yeah. still kind of like, all right, keep it moving. I'm, yeah. I I kind of live in dread. Yeah, I have fun on stage, but I, I do dread every single show that I do. <laughs> I do dread every single show that I do. And I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about, but I, I, I dread it. So <laughs> I think a lot of my life is spent clouded up because I'm living in dread and fear. Wow, we just- Got had a breakthrough. Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> if you guys can tell, the madhouse is um, just the inside of my brain, which is the bean. This is the design. in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, this is what my brain looks like. Okay, to add on to the kids thing, I'm nervous because if I have a kid mm-hmm. and it's a boy, I don't know what I'm going to name it. Oh my god! Because I have a negative affiliation with most male names. Right. That I could name, and people will go, "Nice name." Yeah. I uh, I have to go outside of my territory. I have to go like Mateo. Oh no, I, no, nope, can't do that. I know a lot of them and a few of them are really weird. So Christopher, nope, nope. Michael, nope, nope, that's my dad and multiple people yeah. I thought. Yeah, nope. Like so many people. Mm-hmm. Like Elon Musk could give me like X, X, yeah. Y, pi sign, greater sign, equal, X, X, T, U, V, space bar, <laughs> underscore. Good and I'd be fuck. like, I'd be like, I fucked him in the library. <laughs> Okay, that's my, that's a, is that a good bit? Okay, all right, that's a new. Oh, well, my parents named me Madeline mm-hmm. after Madeline mm-hmm. of Paris. Uh-huh. Madeline in Paris, you. yes. Oh my God. Yeah, they named me after an orphan. <laughs> I'm like, just tell me you don't want the job. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, uh, they'd be like getting a boat and naming it the Titanic. Yeah, bye-bye. Uh- <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> Gotta make that one a little. <laughs> hey, I feel bad for my brother. His name was JFK. <laughs> Okay, I have one more bit. I have one more bit. Okay. Cats are bitchy. Mm-hmm. Cats are honest. Mm-hmm. That's how I want to be. I get my cat cat gifts all day on night, all day all night. Treats and gifts all day and night. Mm-hmm. Um, catnip toy. To- she has a toy box like this big, mm-hmm. and she stands on her hind legs and digs through it like a ch- so child. cute. Sifting yeah, through. yeah. She's like, <laughs> like the 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 bells jingle, <laughs> like the feathers are. Like, so cute. it's like ding ding. <laughs> and she she like pull like a feather out. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll go back and dig through and um, she like rolls around in catnip but when you first give the cat a gift she's like the fuck is this yeah 
This I, is not what I asked for. <laughs> she's like, um, is there anything else? Like, like she looks behind me. She's like, that's I it. Do gifts. She literally looks at me and she's like, that's what you brought me from Houston. <laughs> no, uh, if that's it. If that's it. No, if that's I, it. No, I like it. I, I like it. Just, no, I like it. We don't have to do gifts. I, no, we don't. No. We don't have to do yeah, gifts. Maybe next time just like come back and we'll just like Spend time go to dinner. <laughs> And I was saying, I wish I had that honesty of a cat because yeah. when I open a gift, I'm like, <gasps> my mom gives me new <laughs> fucking body butter. I'm like, <gasps> I love it. Chamomile <laughs> lemon body butter from Trader Joe's. <laughs> and it's still sitting there. Under uh, yeah, I have piles and piles. No offense. I love, I love it all. I just yeah. don't go through it quickly. Yeah. Motherfuckers be going through lotion, lip gloss. And all sorts of things quickly. Mm. I've uh, like, if you open a closet in my apartment, all lotion, body butter, yeah. tubs of body butter will <laughs> fall out <laughs> that my female relatives and friends have given me, gifted me over the years. Just, oh, body butter. <laughs> Vats of butter. It's always body butter. I just picture my mom's leg like. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and their feet, they're always like, yeah, mm. rubbing their feet together. I was, yeah, they're always rubbing. What My is that? My dad would rub his feet together, and <gasps> I would like, I decided it yeah. would like, annoy me when we were watching TV. I'm like, yes. Can you stop you, rubbing your feet together. I would hate that. <laughs> he's My like, no. he's like, thought I was psycho, but then he kept doing it. And I'm like, now you're fucking with me. But like, but then I read about it, and it's like a thing, like it's like cricketing or something, oh, yeah. or it's, it's like it helps like make you warm so you can fall asleep faster. <laughs> Like stop cricketing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sitting there like, <laughs> wait, play a cricket noise. <laughs> Why are we so like bugs? <laughs> Dad's like, what? Yeah, he's like, he's so like, mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> cricketing is hilarious. Mom's in their feet. They're always like, so yeah, how was dinner? <laughs> <laughs> My mom used to put like the gloves on. The white, the, like yeah. you put moisturizer yes. and then you put the cotton gloves. Put, yes. yes. She looked like Michael Jackson yeah. before she was going to bed. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Um, that was all, that was all of my bits. Okay. I guess they're okay. No, they're good. I, I think there's something there. Um, I think it's just a matter of teasing it out and, um, working on like rewrites and just keep workshopping it. And like, we're always here to read. Yeah. I love that last line of an email. Always here. Always, always here, here for any questions. Yeah. You're like, did I just get screwed? <laughs> Had so much fun looking over this. Yeah. I actually found myself laughing. <laughs> I actually found myself, um, breathing while. <laughs> Had so much fun looking over it. I, I actually had my, I actually found myself shitting. <laughs> So weird. I didn't even tell people at Equinox, the thongs are out. Yeah. And I was like, wow. Mm. I thought thongs, like, I don't know what happened, but I thought thongs were only for like sexy, like ladies. Yeah. Sexy, yeah. La like sexy spy ladies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't move. It's restricted movement. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's too restricted. But then I went to Equinox, started peeping, and every, everybody, every, everyone has no hair and. Yeah. All thongs. Right. And I'm shocked. Mm. I'm shocked because I don't find them um, comfortable and I don't like dealing with them when you take them off because yeah. they've been in your asshole all day. Right. And you're like, ew. Your dog like, comes running up ew, to it. Stop. <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like stares for like five. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So sound off in the comments if you want to see me in a thong. If you want to see me, in, I also don't like thongs because I cut the part of my subcutaneous fat that should to, not be cut. You have to. It like, like, hurts after a while. You're G like, strings oh. will do that, but like if you're regular, <laughs> like the kind that's just literally like a strip and then a strip. Right. Um, should we do fupa? Yeah, let's do the fupa. Girl. Hey everybody! Thanks for tuning in. My name is Maddie Smith. It's a win. Let us know in the comments where you want me to go. Let us know in the comments if you're loving the show. If you're not loving it, that's okay. We'll delete your comment. <laughs> <laughs> We're in full control of our narrative. Everyone is loving it. <laughs> Everyone loves a podcast. 
Everyone loves a show. Everyone loves a podcast, and now we gotta go. Launch into the hotline, the Fupa Fupa hotline. Fucked up people anonymous. Let's give them a call. I did ballet when I was five, and we had to warm up like this. We did the bicycle in the oh, air. Oh yes. And we did. I'm a little ballerina. I can dance on my toes. I'm learning how to curtsy and point my toe. Learning how to take a bow. In preschool, we did a lot of songs. We did a song. Um, I think I told you this before. It was on. I wore. We 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 had big red boxes. We painted them red. We put our faces. We painted our face and wrote Madeline. I, oh, I wish I had a little red box to put my mother in. I'd take her out and and put her back again. And then we would go, ah, oh, this is real. Oh, I wish I had a little, I was wearing, I was inside the box, like wearing the box. A little red box to put those bad boys in. I'd take them out and... And put them back again. Yeah, hey, like, little red box. Pull little red box. Oh hey. <laughs> Wait, so you were being groomed in dance class? No, that was preschool. Oh, okay. I think it was playful. It was like uh, the 90s. Like yeah. my teacher had a fat ass. Mm -hmm. um, and like we did like maracas and like. Oh, yeah, I guess I did that too. It was like playful. Yeah. We had like a room where we would sit in a circle and like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like dead eyed. Like, yeah. Just like stimming. <laughs> no, that's great. Good job. Days of the week. Uh, yeah. We did like a song with oh, Days of the oh, Week. Oh, in Spanish or? Like we did Sunday, Spanish. Monday, oh, we did um, Domingo, Lunes, Martes, Miocles, Bueno, Siena, Sabado. The days are oh, the days are oh, the you bet, the da be da booba. And uh, my whole family still has it stuck in their head. Oh you guys want to hear some hot tea? <laughs> Here's a funny memory. Uh, Catholic, raised Catholic, guilty. <laughs> guilty. Guilty as charged. Guilty, yes. I, I uh, was raised in the church. <laughs> raised in the church. Um, not really anything seriously, though. Oh, and my sister. Okay, so we lived in Virginia for a second in Richmond, which, you know, 90s Richmond, Southern. Mm. Southern, like for us, because, you know, Buffalo to there. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> my mom was like, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it does get hot there. one of our cars had this was the 90s we, our, one of our cars had no air conditioning oh. for the first summer there oh my, my mom was like for some reason they when she moved there from Buffalo like when she got off the plane and she had to walk onto the tarmac mm -hmm. and she was like I remember getting off that plane the heat hit me yeah. <sighs> and I was like Mike is this a heat wave and he was like no it's summer in Virginia uh <laughs> That's when things started to crumble. <laughs> so we're in Virginia and down there, even the Catholic churches in the South are like, hey, oh, hey, oh, he excels you stay home. <laughs> like still like very, because in, in the Northeast, it's like, a uh, Christ has died, Christ. And you know, you hear the priest come in. He's like, oh, <laughs> man. Because they'll mic him and they're like, <laughs> like, 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 uh, when they do the, um, the blessing of the Eucharist, when he's like, um, within him in the unity of God, in him in the unity of the Holy forever like and ever. <laughs> it's like, you know, those like, like if you had chorus, like the teacher would be, sing with me on this song. Oh my God, it does sound like that. Meet me up here. Meet me down here. Meet me in the middle. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Happy Monday. Take a seat. I would crush as a course teacher. I want to be a course teacher. Yeah, oh my God. Here's a, okay. One thing I was going to say. Oh, what was yeah. I going to say? I was going to say one thing about my, my sister's first communion. Oh yeah. But I have one other thing to say. I had a chorus teacher in middle school, seventh and eighth grade, okay. Miss Rosenthal. I shouldn't name oh, names. Oh my God. I had a, I had a chorus teacher really? named Miss Rosenthal. Really? Yeah. Was she from New York? Hold on. My art teacher was named Miss Rosenthal. My chorus teacher oh. was named Miss Rothschild. Oh, okay. So Miss Rothschild was like hot, long blonde hair. And she was, it was like, so maybe that was 2005, mm -hmm. 
boots. She had like big chunky boots. Oh my God. Like a chunky boot with like um, New York and Co. Like gray, like a dark gray pant. Okay. New York and Co. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we would we were in show choir, so we were we were doing like songs from the Wiz and mm -hmm. Wiccan. We'd be like, "He's on down, he's on down <laughs> the road," and she'd be like, "Don't you carry?" Oh and my god! Thong back to thongs. This is the thong episode. Her thong would stick out the like oh my black god. lacy. Maybe that's the moment I got <laughs> in my head. I was like, "Thongs are for horse." <laughs> I was like, "Wow, this horror blonde." No, I was like, wow, "I need to know more." I was like, I need to know more. Wanna pull it. it was like a huge, like, that was the only teacher thong I ever saw. So we were at a church. My sister got her first communion. She's four years older than me. So I was young, mm -hmm. but she had to do like a whole performance for her first communion. If you're not Catholic, then I can't help you with these words that I'm saying. <laughs> first communion is when they, in the Catholic church, they're like, okay, you're allowed to eat the bread now. <laughs> That's all it is. Like, and you can have a little wine too. Um, and they're like, oh, okay. It's like one of the... Uh, what are the like sacrament? Yeah, sacrament. Yep. Confirmation. And then after confirmation, they're like, it's up to you. And you're like, okay, peace. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. They're like, you're fully an adult in the church now. So and I'm like, sick. <laughs> peace out. <laughs> Fuckers. Like that shit was so boring. Yeah. And before you get confirmed, which is age 16, you have to do like a year of if you don't go to Catholic school, mm -hmm. you just go to religious ed. You have to do like a year of like intensive, like pre-confirmation, yeah. like reflective, like we had to go to confirmation classes for like three yeah, hours on a yeah. Saturday in some guy's house. Yeah. And he didn't have he didn't have heat. I was like, Ew. me and my friend Gina would be like, yeah, I mean, I think God is present like when I'm playing like soccer. <laughs> <laughs> and like, like we're down. I'm gonna get a goal. I think God is present when like my mom yells at me <laughs> for not feeding the cat. <laughs> would you say that is a sin? I mean, not feeding the cat? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> They would force us to go to confession yeah. to the priest. And I'd be like, I didn't know what to say. I'd be like, I had a sleepover without one of my friends and I didn't tell her. I like, know. I didn't, what do we say? I made something Remember up. the first time we went was in like second, the, it was like first communion and confession at the yeah. same, confession. Con reconciliation. Re usher, confessions. <laughs> Re yeah, reconciliation. Yeah. I was second grade. What I was I like, to... I didn't um, finish my uh, vegetables when my parents told me I had yeah. to. Like I, what? I said I like pinched my sister. Me too. Yeah, we I was playing. like, I hit my sister. Yeah. And he was like, sometimes we get aggravated yeah. at our loved ones. I was like, yeah, totally. I'm like, this, this needs to be updated. Yeah, and then he's yeah, and then he's like, just, and also don't make seven year olds go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, increase. The oh yeah, age. yeah. Like, I was it. like, yeah, we would be like, I f my sister would be like, I forgot to make my bed. <laughs> But they get you into like fucking like they make you feel bad for yourself. A system bad about it. You know what? The best like the OG idea would be a a, a government secretly ran church where you confess your sins mm -hmm. and then they find murderers. Yeah, because they can't. If somebody confesses a murder, they can't say anything. I know. So my sister got uh, first communion, mm -hmm. and you know you have to wear your little dress, your white dresses. Mm -hmm. So weird. Yeah. A veil. We had yeah. veils. Yeah. Because you're like getting married to God, yeah. right? Child bride. There were like many wedding dresses. I had like puppy seats. And they do that for when you get christened too. You're, um, they put you in a big like, gown. They put the baby in a big. A designer gown. It's like a baby. <laughs> and then the gown's like. It's like, yeah, and they're always like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baptism like. Aah. It's like, you are, you are, you are not about to. <laughs> it's like always a screaming baby. I know. And I'm always like. Oh. <laughs> 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 the audience or the audience yeah. the people there are like yeah it's so weird <laughs> ew ew not to shame people but I'm not to shame the religion but growing up in it you're like what is this yeah weird I don't know especially if you're, my family didn't say like we go to church because it it's, it instills values in us oh. and they were just like we're going to church <laughs> We have to go. There was never like a conversation Get that up. was like, we go because yeah. it makes us good people. If I had that in yeah. me, I'd be like, oh, I'll stay because yeah. it because it reminds me that I have to <laughs> like be good to my brothers and follow. Oh, I used to get yelled but, at. Like, I know it'd be every Sunday. Like, <laughs> like Get up! Girls! <laughs> get up! Right now! Good luck eating breakfast because you have 10 minutes! Because Emily and I would always, like, we always, we didn't even talk to each other about this, but we were both like, if I sleep, like, they won't wake us up for church. No, 10.45, mass starts at 11. They're like, get up. Oh my right, God. like, we always were like the pew in the back because late. we were always a standing, standing yeah. or pew in the back family because we were late. Some families left right after communion, which yeah. is like, wow, you're like, okay. Oh, I see that. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. We never did that. And then I remember the priest in our church and that's when we were back in Buffalo. He would tell jokes like Buffalo Bills jokes nice. at the end. Of, he told a joke in like September about the Buffalo Bills. And then he said the same joke in January. I looked at my dad. I was like, wow. <laughs> Wow. He repeated it. I was like 13 and he was like, I know. I was like, that was the most mad I've ever been. Wow. Wow. (laughs) I remember going to church every time and being like, I'm going to listen this time. I'm going to like follow along. And four minutes in, I'm like. I'm like, what what just happened? Yeah. I get so distracted. I know. I know. So my sister got her first communion. She was wearing a little wedding dress, wearing her little veil. And her little class of first communion nights in Virginia had to do a performance of songs. Oh my God. And so her song was by, her song was, we believe in God the Father. We believe in God the Son. We believe in God the Spirit. God the Three and God the One. Yeah. There you go. Oh my God. Is that funny? Oh my God. It was so funny. It's like church camp. And we would all just sing. We would be like, ba da do dee da da do Ah, do you see slightly earworm songs that our family still sings? Like, do 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 <laughs> Remember when they would have the kids come up during mass yeah. because they could go like fuck around in yeah. another room and just play like God oriented like highlights puzzle games like yes. word search for like crucifix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whipping. <laughs> <laughs> the first time he fell or like whatever bloody cloth. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I wait it. <laughs> Ooh, I just found a thorn. <laughs> I just found what's another really- I just found Judah <laughs> Ooh, I just found betrayal <laughs> so they would take the kids up because kids can yeah. handle I never went up though I would I see like to. sometimes I would see like someone from my class if you're an element you'd be like <laughs> I know you'd be like you're way too old for that <laughs> it's like they're with their family yeah. and you're like uh, I know you're like <laughs> yeah don't look at him so I would be like don't look at him don't look at him don't look at him pretend you don't see him so I walk right by someone from my class if I was with my, yeah. my family I'd be like and you have to wear nice outfits ew yeah your church outfit I would just like look at myself all of church and be like, I'm so ugly. I would be like, look at my fucking legs in this dress. I I was like seven and like probably like 70 pounds. And I would be like, look at my fat thighs on my, in this ugly dress. I feel ugly. Yeah. My mom, I used to fight with my mom over. Yeah, me too. She made me wear ugly shirts. Me too. I remember my, my sister and I had those. Remember in the nineties, like in two thousands of like thong flip flops, but they were like this tall. Yes. And the, the this portion over the toes would have flowers on it. Mm-hmm. I got a pink pair on like a Saturday, nice. and my mom woke me up and she was like, "Get up and don't think you're wearing those flip flops oh, to no. church." <laughs> I know. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh my god!" <laughs> anywho, anywho, shall we move to the vupa? I feel like we've all been laughing, right? Yes, I've been laughing. All right. So I've been on many tangents today. It's all good. That's life on the lips. Um, Life in the fast lane. <laughs> Life in the fast lips. Hey. <laughs> Life on my fast lips. <laughs> Three, two, one. That guy All who's right. like, please have a guest, right. is going to be so pissed Three, right now. Two, one. Three, two, one. Hello, have you reached the FUBA hotline? How can I help you? Hey, so, um, I, uh, I did Asia. something fucked up pretty recently. Asia. It was um, a couple months ago. Um, uh, I, I pooped on a kid in a public setting. Uh, it was by accident. Pluto. Um, spaceship. I, um, it was during a, we were having like a field day. It was, um, it was like a, my local, like elementary school thing, having a field day. And I was chaperoning my nephew. Um, I didn't poop on my nephew though. I, uh, I was tasked to, you know, those, uh, <clears throat> those little, that big tent, you, 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 all the adults hold up the big tent and, um, all the kids run in. Um, well, I, uh, 
I ate a bean burrito the night before, and I hadn't pooped. Um, this was midday. I was holding it in, essentially, um, which was a mistake. Luckily, it wasn't, you know, liquid shits or anything like that. But, um, <clears throat> well, either way, it was, it was a hot day. Um, I had I don't do much uh, physical activity, so this was definitely, uh, you know, got my uh, body moving. Um, I think it was just a mixture of a lot of different things, but um, I uh, I shit my pants uh, while holding up this tent, um, and uh, I wasn't well. I wasn't wearing pants. I, I shit my shorts, um, <clears throat> really short shorts, because it was hot out. Um, I thought I was being smart, but um, ended up really. Uh, fucking up that kid's day and mine. Um, but, yeah, I pooped. Uh, it was a solid two-incher, I think, and um, it definitely plopped right through. Um, you know, my I wear boxers, so it's not really a lot of uh, – not a lot of material sealing in that um, unfortunate evacuation and um it went through both layers uh just there was a clear airway from anus to uh open air um <clears throat> so i i shit myself after we you know lifted the tent up i was trying my best to hold it in it just um i just had to let loose and uh it popped down i saw it fall I was looking down and tell us was that it oh I think that was it what I think that probably got cut off after a certain he didn't leave another one I think we know what happens though he told us 5,000 times I didn't see another one okay no problem we can talk about it oh oh my god (laughs) (laughs) he shit on a kid what the hell how do you have not I my sphincter is I'm yeah. in control. Oh no, I don't well, I don't want to jinx myself. No, my sphincter is incontinence is scary. Like there's oh, yeah. Like you could not get anything in there or out there when there's no demand for that. Clothes for business. Like yeah. My asshole is like um like a uh trucking warehouse. Like, when it's open, like, in and out. You know what I mean? And then, like, other times, it's like, no. No. No one's here. No one's here. No one's here. No one's opening these doors. We're on strike. Yeah. So, the fact that this guy can just leak a two-incher is, um, you know, and he said he's not active. So, that's, you know, I think accidentally shitting on a kid at a carnival um, and getting out of breath from holding up a tent. Might be a couple signs to maybe make some lifestyle changes. The fact that the shit fell out onto a kid isn't ideal at all. We don't know. We didn't hear the end of the voicemail, but yeah. the kid maybe didn't notice. We don't know like the full like width of the poop and stuff, how noticeable it was. We don't know if it fell on skin or if it fell on cloth. Ew. If it... <laughs> <laughs> if the skin fell on if the poop fell on skin like that kid is like gonna think about that for a while and probably like get goosebumps you couldn't even pull like a Andy from Shawshank Redemption and like shake it out of your pants <laughs> like walk away it just like fell out mid- yeah it fell like, you know, it fell right out. And that kid was like, look, all I had to do was look up, see the guy's balls through his short hole and be like, that guy just shit on me. Hey, did you just sit on me? <laughs> what? No. Yeah, you just shit on me. Shit just came out of your shorts and hit me in my leg. What? That's... No, I didn't, dude. Like, what? <laughs> what I just saw shit come <laughs> out of your shorts and now it's on my leg. At least clean it up, dude. What are you even doing here? Are you even anyone's dad? No, my my nephew. You should go. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Yeah. I'm never never have ever shit on anyone. Same. What do you think? Should we wrap it up? Sure. 
We had a great time. Yeah. Come see me live. Join us next week. Madhouse. Oh, 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 o